All right, guys. So we're in this video. We're going to check out the uh, Free Sky URUAV X9 Lite Pro, and this is pretty much the same as the original X9 Lite that I reviewed. Um, I think about a month ago now. The only difference, as far as I can tell, is that the Pro version comes with Hall sensor gimbals. However, um, they feel the same to me. I literally. If if you told me if I if you blindfolded me and uh, gave me the radio and if I was playing around the gimbals, I would not be able to tell the difference. They literally feel the same. Now that being said, um, obviously you're going to pay a little bit more for the Hall sensor gimbals, and the idea behind the Hall sensor gimbals is that they're going to be a little bit more durable. So if you plan on getting this radio and plan on using it for a long time, then I would recommend getting the Pro version with the Hall sensor gimbals. They will probably last longer than the standard gimbals on the regular version. I believe the Pro version only comes in this blue color as well, whereas the regular version comes in, I think, three different colors. So if the colors are important to you, then maybe you want to get for the regular version. Now, another thing that um, I should probably make a note of here, I'll turn it on. You get a different splash screen. So, in the previous videos on the X9 Lite, I did some, um, I did some firmware upgrades that actually uh, flashed the module inside there so you enabled D16 mode. This is not, well, this was not required on the Pro version. It already came with those updates and let me go ahead and just show you the uh, radio version in here. Okay, so you can see here that it is uh, updated to version, uh, I think it's June the 5th. I'm not exactly sure. I think that's the same one that was on the one that I uh, updated from the uh, previous video. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there's actually some uh, newer upgrades since then that you can download from the FreeSky website. The upgrade process is going to be the same, but later on in this video I'm actually going to show you the alternative method, not the official method, so you can get things like multi-protocol module and crossfire, which I didn't show you in the previous videos. And I think also the module version here, yeah, it's 112. This one is uh, the one you need for the uh, enabling of the D16 mode. And let me just show you here that the internal RF has D16 already in there without any, without the need to do any upgrades. And of course you have the original access, but that's all you've got here for the internal, just access off D16. D8 mode is still not available. Now they are providing, um, I think, well there's a uh, XJT light module I believe that's going to give you D8 mode uh, that, that I should have soon. I'll, uh, that's going to be on a separate video. Uh, it actually hasn't even shipped yet. Um, but I think that's how they're going to provide D8 mode to these, not through the upgrading of the module. So that's kind of unfortunate. It's another $25, I believe, for that module. But anyway, um, so that's all that's available for the internal RF module. But if you go to the external RF module, you have R9M Lite uh, for the the back bay here, the, the external bay. You have R9M L access, that's the R9M light access, so you can upgrade the, the firmware on the module so you get the access protocol for R9M. And then you have R9M light pro access, and that is going to be this module here, the R9M light pro module, it's actually a lot bigger than the original module. But this one here will go up to I believe one watt, and of course it comes with a super eight antenna that um, uh, actually is in the box. I'm not showing you here, but that's the antenna it comes with. And there's no USB port or anything like that to firmware upgrade this thing, but this will go up to one watt. I believe you can do firmware upgrades uh, once you put it into the back of the radio um, and do it via the up down. I guess the, the download page on the FreeSkype website. So that would be uh, this one here. So those are the only three that are available for the external. RF module bay, so there's no crossfire and no multi-protocol module. So that's kind of kind of unfortunate. Now they have this URUAV TMX5 Lite module that they're selling. It's pretty much the same as the previous one that I reviewed, the IR iRange X module. And um, yeah, this one will give you the multi-protocol function of you know the three different like four different chips that are inside here. But the radio won't support this until you do the nightly build upgrade, which I'll show you here in a second. 
So keep that in mind. Um, out of the box, if you try and use this with this radiator to get other protocols like Spectrum, Toy Grade uh, protocols, etc., it does not work until you do the upgrade at the computer. You're going to have to um, go basically go to the computer, you have to plug in the uh, USB port and flash the radio. Uh, you have to download the OpenTX Companion software and also the firmware flash the radio with that, and then that will enable Crossfire and the multi protocol modules. So, with that said, let's go ahead and go to the computer and I'll show you what to download uh, and what steps it takes to get the radio updated using the, um, the basically non official um, nightly build update through OpenTX. Okay, so before you can connect it to the computer and flash it, you need to get the radio into bootloader mode, otherwise, it won't be able to flash. You're going to push the two, these two trims in, and then you're going to press and hold the power button real quick and let go. And then you'll see that it is in bootloader mode here. And then at this point, you just plug it into your computer and just use a micro USB cable. And at that point, you can go to the computer now and we'll go ahead and download the software and flash the radio. Okay, so first you want to go to this website, that's called opentx.org. And I'll put a link to this in the description, so you just click on that and I'll take you to the OpenTX 2.3 Nightlies. You want to download two things. Uh, first, the OpenTX Nightly Companion 2.3 Windows installer. If you have Mac, um, I don't have a Mac, so I can't even demonstrate this for you, but I'm pretty sure the process is going to be pretty similar. So you can get the Mac image here or Linux here. I have no idea if anyone uses Linux, but go to the Windows installer. And the one I'm going to get here is the latest on September 4th, uh, ON78. And then the next thing you want is to get the SD card contents here. And uh, the one I downloaded here is the X9 Lite 2.3 V0020, uh, dated 27th August 2019. This will give you all the files you need for your micro SD card. Oh, and by the way, you do need a micro SD card in the radio. And uh, I do show that in the previous video on the X9 regular, X9 Lite regular version. So go watch that video if you want an explanation about that. So you get those two files. And then I have here my downloads folder, and I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, OpenTX Companion. You're going to get this Windows warning here, so it's hit, hit orange or hit run anyway. It's just a, I think it thinks that the virus for some reason, I don't know why. And we'll go ahead and install it. I agree. Next, next. And just uh, follow all the uh, defaults here and just go ahead and install it. And go ahead and we'll run it. Okay, so the first time you run, you're going to get this, uh, I guess, a little warning, welcome message here about creating a radio profile. We'll, I'll go ahead and walk you through all the steps here. Okay, so next you want to go to settings and settings. And under application settings, release channel on that drop down menu, you want to change that to nightly build unstable. Otherwise, you're not going to get any of the extra features. Click OK. And then go back into settings. You need to create a radio profile here. You can name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter what the name is. And I'll call it X9 Lite Pro. And then here you want to select Free Sky Tyrannus X9 Lite. Now, normally here uh, under build options, you would select uh, Crossfire, Lua C, Lua, and multi protocol module, but now those are all pre built into the default build. So those aren't going to be options here. So in older videos, you've seen these as options you need to check, but in this case, um, they're now, as of uh, at least as of today, they're now pre-built in, so you don't need to actually select them now. So if you're confused about that, that's why they're not there anymore. They're actually they're actually defaulted, uh, pre-built into the default build. And here I'm just changing my default channel order to my preference here. You can change it to whatever you want. I happen to like AETR. And of course, I, I'm leaving it on mode 2. And you want to click the download button to get the firmware. This is the build that you want. And it's going to save it. So you want to save it to somewhere. In my case, I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. And I should be able to find that when you want to go and flash it. Okay, so now you want to go and flash the firmware, so go to read, write, and click write firmware to radio. 
Let me just double check everything here is okay. That's where we downloaded it. Uh, that's all the version numbers. It looks all okay. And go ahead and click right to TX. That's pretty quick and it does, only takes a few seconds. Um, it shouldn't take too long. There we go, flashing is done. And that is it. We have new firmware on the radio. Okay, so now we should be able to go ahead and turn it on. And we should get a nightly warning. And basically it's saying that we're using a unstable version of the firmware. We'll go ahead and hit any button, get out of that, and then we look at the uh take a look at the radio setup here and see what version we're on. So we're on 2.30 ON79, September the 5th. And if you click under firmware options here, we see that Crossfire and uh, Multi-Key Protocol Module and Lewis are built into the firmware now by default. And if we go into our model, we should be able to see our new options here for the external module. And so here we go, we have PPM, XJT, XJT DSM Spectrum, Crossfire, Multi Protocol Module, R9M, R9M Access, R9M Lite, R9M Lite Access, and R9M Lite Pro FCC, and R9M Lite Pro Access. So I think that's everything. Nope, there's more. That's bus. And XJT Lite. I think that is the new um, FreeSky module. That I think that should also give you D8 mode there. I think that is where that's going to show up. And I believe our options here for internal, so there's going to be the same. You have access, uh, ACCST D16, and yeah, that's the same as before. So now the all now the firmware is updated here, we should be able to go ahead and plug in uh, the new R9M Lite Pro and also the multi protocol modules. Those will work now as well as Crossfire. Uh, a couple other things that I forgot to mention earlier. Um, there's just some accessories that I got for this radio. So I'm going to actually use this radio here and I'm going to be putting this, uh, I guess, some sort of a grip pad on the back. I'll put a link to the in the description to this if you're going to uh, add that to your radio. And then also the po internal power module. Uh, this will charge the 18650 batteries inside. If you guys want to see a video on how to do that, let me know in the comments below. It's pretty similar to the way the I did the uh, power mod um, charger upgrade for the X uh, the X Lite, not the X Lite Pro, the original X Lite. It's pretty similar. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I'm probably going to be giving away this guy here, the original X9 Lite, at some point. Not in this video, so don't bother leaving comments that I'm not going to read. Um, and got, I've got some things coming up on the channel, so you're going to have to be subscribed and your notifications turned on so you don't miss that opportunity to possibly get this one in a giveaway that could be coming down the road sometime in the next month, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.